What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's tutorial we're going to be talking about topography in Revit and we're going to be talking about how to integrate walls into topography. So I really like the aesthetic of having a site that has some walls integrated into that site. So basically these are some sort of walls that are kind of holding back uh, a certain part of the uh, of the site so they're kind of retaining walls or something like that you can use them in order to create roads or something like that uh, or to leave extra room or you can just integrate it into topography just well because it looks nice <laughs> okay so that's what we're going to be exploring in today's tutorial now before I get into that I would just like to ask you to subscribe I make useful Revit tutorials each week I make multiple tutorials and also I make some courses I make both a beginner, intermediate, as well as advanced courses. They're all available on my website, balkanarctic.com. The link is in the description just below the video. Uh, there I have a whole course on topography, just dedicated to topography. I take multiple hours in order to explain this topic in depth. So if you're interested in that or any other course, make sure to check it out. And also the second link in the description takes you to my Patreon page. So there I upload all of my Revit project files, such as this file that we're going to be creating in today's tutorial so if you're interested in that make sure to check it out and also there I have a lot of my advanced courses so that's interesting as well okay so without any further ado let's get straight into Revit and here we are in Revit so let's immediately get here into models and then start a new project and uh, for the template file I'm going to choose the Balkan Arctic template the metric version and if you're interested in getting my custom uh, template both the metric and the imperial version versions they're both available on my website balkanarctic.com the link is going to be in the description of this video Okay, so now let's just click OK and that's going to start Revit up. So in order to create this uh, this uh, site plan to integrate our uh, walls into, I'm just going to switch here to the site uh, plan here in the project browser. Uh, the reason for this is because the uh, site is only going to be visible, well, in the site plan uh, and also in the 3D view as well. Uh, so I can just get rid of the uh, level one. We're only going to be using the site uh, plan as well as the 3D view. So let's open up the 3D view here uh, next as well. Okay, now let's go here to the masking and site tab and there we want to use the topo surface uh, tool. Now for placement of the points, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, just start off with the elevation of zero and then place a few points just like that. Uh, next, let's switch the elevation to one. So that's uh, one meter. And then let's add a few points just like that. Uh, after that, let's move over to uh, two meters perhaps add a few points like that. And then let's finally go to three meters and add another row of points. Uh, now, something that I like to do is to move the points just like this, to kind of to go to the outside. That's going to uh, make the whole thing look a lot better. So uh, I just like to do that. Same thing here. Perfect. So uh, you're not going to have any weird spots. Uh, let me demonstrate for a second. So if I move this towards the inner side and then go to the 3D view, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's going to look that can look kind of uh, weird. So in this case, it doesn't really look weird because it kind of goes uh, at the same angle. But if it were kind of closer, it would look like that. So you don't want that. OK, so let's just leave that there. OK, so once we have this created, I'm going to go back to the site plan and then I'm just going to add a little bit of a curvature here, maybe model it something like a uh, like a spline, I guess, just to make it look a bit more interesting uh, with the terrain. Same thing here, perhaps like that. Perfect. OK, so here we have some sort of a terrain that resembles a, I guess you can say a spline. Perfect. And now uh, let's just go here to the modify edit surface and let's finish that surface. So now we have our surface and now it's time to integrate our walls into that. Uh, so I know this is at uh, one meter and this is at two meters. Uh, that's also indicated by the uh, contour lines that are running uh, across that. So let's move back to the site plan go to the architecture tab 
and then uh, what I'm going to do is go to the wall command. You can use the WA shortcut if you want and then for the wall I'm just going to be using the basic generic wall and for the location line I'm just going to uh, place it at the center. Next I'm going to choose the uh, start and uh, radius arc and let's click first here just a little bit inside the topo surface then let's go up to here create an arc then let's go up to here and create that and uh, what you want to do is to make sure that it properly aligns oops let's see and creates a kind of perfect spline so let me show you that on the second one uh, so you go here to the wall tool and go like that oops <laughs> let's get rid of that let's try that again okay so uh, the arc tool here and then you want to go kind of like this and then create that first arc and then you go to the second point you click and then you want to go up until it's like this uh, uh, when it's at tangent it's going to highlight like this as you can see it creates a whole circle and the this, uh, the first wall highlights as well and that's exactly what you want to have so there we go looks perfect uh, next I like to select the topo surface go here into edit surface and now I like to align these points here on the uh, upper side of the wall same thing goes here if you cannot see any of the points like this one here you can select it and use the arrow keys to kind of move it around and then move it until it snaps to that wall same thing with this one and with this one uh, as well perhaps move this up just a little bit perfect okay so once we have uh, these uh, points now adjusted properly this is definitely not going to be enough if we go here into the 3d view you're going to notice that these kind of have still these contour lines that go here. Also, another problem that we have is the fact that the walls go way up. So let's first modify the walls and then we can get back to the topo surface and continue editing that. Uh, so let's go here to the modify edit surface, hit finish, perfect. Let's select the first chain of walls. So highlight one of the walls, you hit the tab key once, it's going to select the whole chain and then you click. And what you want to do in this uh, situation is just change the top constraint. It's currently set to unconnected height at 4 meters. I'm just going to drop that down to 1 meter. Or uh, what I like to do, uh, because it's going to kind of go down into the topography, I like to give it just a little bit more. So 1.1. There we go. Perfect. And then do the same thing for the second one. So you highlight the first one, hit the tab key, select the whole wall. And then uh, in this case, what you want to do is first change the base offset to one meter because it's going to be kind of uh, above this one. And then uh, the unconnected height should be 1.1 uh, meters as well. Oops, there we go. And it's going to look like that. So this wall is just kind of a little bit up uh, from this one. Perfect. So once we have that all set up, we can go back to the site plan, select the topo surface, and now let's continue editing. You want to go here to edit surface. And then uh, what you want to do is select one of the points like this one here. So you can see we have a little point there. So you kind of highlight that point and it's going to give you the elevation and it's of course one meter. So what you want to do next is go to place point, set the elevation at one meter, and then you want to start adding points all along this wall so feel free to place as many as you want you don't have to place too many uh, but you want to place enough so let's say one every meter or half meters or one meter I think it's enough okay now let's switch the elevation to something below so where you want to get to have that height below and for that I want to go with something like 0.3 uh, point uh, let's go 0.4 meters and there you want to go for the kind of lower uh, part of the wall and just keep placing points oops like that now if they go kind of a little bit inside of the wall that's okay again just use the arrow keys to move it down and then you can just attach it properly same thing with this one I'm just using the down arrow to move it down perfect let's go to place point and let's see. So basically you want to have kind of points at the same place uh, or at the same position at the wall, just one being kind of on the top side and one being on the bottom side. The upper one is higher, the bottom one is lower. Now you want to switch to the 3D view and see what that looks like. And as you can see, it looks perfect. Now, uh, if you didn't 
place these points so close together, so let's say I get rid of all of these, it's going to have kind of odd spots such as this one. So that's why I like to have uh, uh, a bit more points along the way. So there we go. Now uh, let's just repeat that on the upper one. So let's move to the site plan and go to place point. And for this one, the, the upper points are at 2 meters. So let's go to 2 and then let's just place points all along the side. So just take a look at this contour line as we place points. It's kind of going to just adapt to that wall. Perfect. Uh, now you want to switch to, well, uh, minus 0.6, that's 1.4. Perfect. Okay, and then you go and basically add those points in as well. So you just go all the way to the other side. Here we seem to have a bit of a problem, but don't worry, we're going to be fixing that. Perfect. Let's go to the 3D view. So this is what we have. As you can see, it kind of created a little... Is this a ridge or a... I don't know how you would call this uh, geographically, I don't know the terminology, but anyways it means that we need an additional point here, so I'm just going to switch this to 2 meters and just place the point exactly there, so exactly on the other side of this one. Perfect. And then when you go to the 3D view, it looks like this. And that's exactly uh, what you're trying to achieve. So you just want to hit finish, and there we go, we have a perfect kind of... Uh, Topography integrated with walls. And if you're interested in how I created that uh, image for the thumbnail, uh, let's just go here to the properties panel, uh, search for the section box and turn that on, and then I'm just going to move this in a little bit. Maybe like that, this one as well. And there we go. And also you can select the section box, and I just like to hide that element. Perfect. So there we go. As you can see, this is perfectly integrated and also we can create sections if we want. And when you create a section through this, it's just going to look perfect. It's going to show those walls integrated into the site. And that is, well, exactly what you want to have. So there you go. That's how you can create these cool uh, kind of uh, walls that are integrated with topography. It's not that difficult. It doesn't take too much. As you can see, this is kind of a 10 minute tutorial and we have already completed this little project. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like and share this video. If you're interested in more extensive uh, uh, tutorials and courses. Uh, I have uh, many, many courses on my website, BalkanArctic.com. There is a topography course that kind of takes a more in-depth approach to topography in Revit and explains everything that you need to know when it comes to topography. So make sure to check it out as well as other courses. And if you want this project file that they have over here, uh, as well as all of my other project files, check out my Patreon. It's going to be the second link in the description and there you can find all of my Revit project files, over 400 files so far. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.